I am Pius I am. Born 19 February 1961 to a humble and loving parent in Ishago, Ivo, local government area of Ebony State. The remarkable journey of I am Pius I am is that of determination and the resolute resolve of his poor parents to ensure he went to school. The village boy who became president of the Senate and secretary of the government of the Federation is a man of deep faith in God. I am truly a village boy. A vigorous problem solver, crisis manager, and consensus builder. The Senate, as it were, could ordinarily be described as a, a mini Nigeria. What is required on the table today is simply to build consensus. And it's the leadership that will inspire that confidence that, look, I have come with solutions. And my solution will address your need, address your need, address your need. Managing that diversity is what, what is lacking and what is needed to bring peace back to the country. Applying the same method I applied in the Senate then will actually bring stability to Nigeria. 2023, by the grace of God, and the will of the Nigerian people, Senator Ayim will be in office as President and Unifier in Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Ayim, as a statesman, was pivotal to the formation of a group of 41 eminent Nigerians in 2010, led by him to the National Assembly that intervened decisively in starving off the political impasse occasioned by the indisposition of the late President. Uma Musu Yaradoa. That singular intervention fostered the needed consensus that gave birth to the doctrine of necessity, which pulled Nigeria back from the precipice and preserved the unity of our dear country. The first non career civil servant to serve as secretary to the government of the Federation in Nigeria. As SGF, Senator Ayim employed his deep knowledge and experience in managing intergovernment affairs to forge a strong working relationship between the executive and the legislature, which engendered trust and a rank of free partnership that delivered good governance. Agenda for 21st Century Africa. Senator Ayim superintended many critical and landmark programs of the federal government that helped to define the Good Luck Jonathan administration. His former boss, President Goodluck Jonathan, has this to say about this extraordinary politician. He's a very hard-working young man, committed to serving this nation. And I believe if he has the opportunity to serve more, he can do better. Over his characteristic noble nature of never desperate for power or anything, Senator Ayim has accordingly remained active in the affairs of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, as a member of the party's board of trustees, national caucus, and the national executive committee. Former heads of state pay glowing accolades to Senator Ayim. He has a very pleasant disposition towards people. He is a very respectful person and his presence he has got is always felt anytime either during discussions or talking about issues that concern this country. His potentials were realized by the various appointments into the various panel which he was appointed to. It's one man who was given opportunity to run and he showed that he can manage the opportunity and make good use of it. Former President General of Ohanese Indigo. He keeps nothing back and he means well and he's impatient for results. He's a man I think that we will hear more about in the future. President General of the Apex Ebo Organization. He has proven to be one of our best and brightest, and uh, we are very, very delighted with his progress in politics as a young statesman and a patriot. Ayim is determined to implement the Greater Nigeria Project. The Greater Nigeria Project economic direction shall take into consideration the fourth industrial revolution and propelled by the following development pistons, industrialization, agriculture, talent and innovation, science and technology, with particular emphasis on the following enablers, security, electricity, infrastructure, justice system, job creation, education and healthcare. His Excellency, President Muhammad Buhari recently described Senator Ayim Pius Ayim, GCON, as a patriotic Nigerian 
who always puts the country first and one of the stabilizing voices of modern Nigeria. His maturity, courage, tenacity and unwavering conviction were very instrumental to providing the peaceful ambience between the executive and legislature. And I made bold to say, whoever has occupied the office of the secretary to the government for four years in an evolving democracy like Nigeria is capable and able to occupy any office. A natural consensus builder, Senator Ayim is that Nigerian who finds a home in every part of the country. He's humble and very young enough to roll up his sleeves and get the job done.